hey guys this is VV theory again and sorry if I didn't put out uh, videos for like three weeks or so I was uh, busy uh, working on my calculator <coughs> so uh, today we're gonna learn how to make an application that supports <coughs> multiple languages <coughs> sorry so I have one here so uh, I've got two languages w which are English and French so if I select uh, French uh, all the text changes <coughs> and if I switch it back to English it all uh, gets back to where it was so let's add in make a new project let's name it whatever multi-lang app <coughs> and let's resize it you need a combo box and your normal controls <coughs> sorry so uh, let's uh, change the items to every language you know if you, you don't know languages you can ask your friends but if you don't have friends that know that language I don't uh, uh, command uh, I don't uh, uh, what is the the word uh, I don't think that you should go to a tra uh, translation site and translate the words because it doesn't work out uh, all the time uh, anyway back to our work double click the form 1 and type in uh, combo box 1 dot selected index equals 0 so it uh, changes the the combo box uh, selected item to English and you need your normal controls you don't need to add these guys but I'm gonna add them for the sake of uh, this tutorial so uh, button 1 will be uh, hey Uh, good thanks and the labels will have the same text because I want to show you something which will be really useful for you good and thanks I will show you one cool thing uh, so double click the combo box and type in <coughs> if combo box one dot selected index equals zero then uh, so the user selected the uh, uh, English as a language so uh, it's gonna change these guys these guys' names to uh, the normal ones so uh, text actually button ah button one dot text equals hey button two dot text equals um, good maybe and button three dot text equals thanks now what you're gonna do is come here and uh, the label will search for the value of the button because they are they have the same text and this will help you um, like uh, conservate your time so label one dot text equals button one dot text you actually don't have to do this if uh, you don't have they 
your controls don't have the same text but it's just a hint if you want to label two dot text equals button two dot text and label three dot text equals button three dot text and now if the user selected uh, French so if else if combo box one dot selected index equals one then uh, don't rem uh, don't forget that the first item uh, index is zero not one so you don't get messed up and let's copy these guys and tell here salut bien and merci which are hey good and thanks in French if you don't know so here's the form and English let's change it to French and it all changes and let's set it back to English and it works good now so uh, yeah that is it for the tutorial hope you um, have learned something out of uh, this tutorial if you did thumbs up rate and uh, comment it if you have any question uh, subscribe for more videos and see you later bye